blanch your hair. It's Thursday, December something. I've been in Toronto for about a week ish, a little bit over a week. My brother's from Minnesota this past Shabbos, and that was really, really nice. You know, it was a far, far cry from the Kugel and Chill and Kiddish that my parents had originally planned back when we were discussing the run the last Chanukah. It worked out kind of back for Hanukkah and for a Simcha because I really packed in the family time. As I said after my goodbye party, my video after my goodbye party, yeah, I'm going to be missing out a lot of stuff, so try not to think about that. So let me tell you a bit about what I've been doing every single day since I've been here, more or less. Um, mornings, I drive home out of work, take the car, run errands, do some schoolwork while my friends are at school, pick my mother up from work, spend the day with a friend, and then come home for, to like kind of the candles and then spend the night with a different friend. So I've been trying to pack in as much time as possible, spending time with all of my friends. And you know what, there are a lot of them and it's like really hard and I don't really have that much time here. I think Saturday night, um, everybody is going to be coming over to see me before I leave. Um, and I'm leaving on Sunday, but let's just not talk about that yet. Okay, the whole last year, once I decided that I really wanted to go back to Israel, I kept saying, oh, this is my last this and this is my last that, you know, like, hey, oh, this is my last time having one Seder, or, or, or last winter, I was like, oh, this is my last snow, but I was wrong, because starting Sunday afternoon, while we were at my family Hanukkah party, all the way until about Tuesday, it did not stop snowing. And you know, it's not even like it's seasonably early, it's just absolutely normal. But the funny thing is, is when it starts snowing here, that's when it finally started raining in Israel. So I guess it was a bracha in some way. On yesterday in the mail, I was very surprised when I saw an envelope for myself. It was addressed to Miss Shira Blank. This is the return address. I don't know how you well can see it. But with my initial reaction, how did this Christian solicitation group, the network, get my address. I was very not happy. And invitation was inside. Let me read it to you. Dear friend, you're invited to inaugural event of the network, connecting young women in Toronto in an effort to give back to your community. Mosaic Shabbos, December 25th, Base Yaakov Elementary School, RSVP to blah, blah, blah. Okay. The Base Yaakov program emblem was a cross. Of course, being myself, I sent an email straight to the committee and told them that I don't think it's very appropriate that they're using a cross and they should kind of try not to do it in any further invitations and flyers and stuff. So I get an email back right away, oh my gosh, we didn't even realize, thanks so much for pointing it out, we'll definitely be careful in the future. But of course you didn't realize, you live in like a little bubble that you don't really... Yeah. But I notice these things. I don't even live here anymore. So yeah, I have a bunch of bears to run, some friends to see, and... Just try not to think about what's gonna happen when I get back. I'm gonna be keeping myself busy, but you know, still so much more comfortable here. All right, I will speak to you.